It's a Ninja 650. It's a beginner bike, but it don't feel like it. It's got plenty of power. Here it is, the 2024 Kawasaki Ninja 650. Don't go anywhere. You don't want to miss this. The first thing you'll notice is this beautiful TFT screen. This is a beginner bike, and I'm going to explain to you why. Let's get rolling here. Turn it on. It's got your gas gauge there, your mile per gallon, your time, your neutral indicator. This does have uh, anti-lock brakes on it. You can get one that doesn't have anti-lock. It's 300. I think it's 300 cheaper. This does have a KTRC, Kawasaki Traction Control. So let's get going here. The first thing I can tell you is this is an upright seating position. Big thank you to Plano Kawasaki that allows me to do these first rides for y'all. Their link is always in the description of my video. Uh, I'm going to explain to you why this is such a good beginner bike. I don't know if you can see my feet. My feet are right underneath my hips. And uh, so if anything were to happen, if you had to make a quick stop, you could just set your feet on the ground. That's a big plus on a beginner bike. Just about everything on this is super easy. There's no riding modes. Uh, you can go in there, I believe, and connect your phone to the Rideology app. And it will give you some uh, telemetry information and show you your route and stuff that you took. It does have an economy uh, light on it. That's your economy. It means you're in economy. This thing just started up. So it's a little cold. Turn that blinker on. Your blinkers are here. We're going to take a ride today and do something different. This thing makes about 60, I think it's 68 horsepower. It does not have a uh, clutchless shifter. You could rev match though and use your foot without the clutch once you get good at it. But the thing that makes this bike so nice for a beginner bike is the seat height is pretty low. It's 30, 31 inches, I believe. You sit down in this bike, and I know it's probably hard to tell, but you the tank is about even with my belly button, so I'm, I'm sitting down in this bike. The mirrors on it are really good. Uh, but just the control, this bike weighs, I think it's 423, 423 pounds. It has a four gallon gas tank. Uh, you do have adjustable clutch and brake lever. And I'll get off and show you all this here in just a minute. This thing, that's fourth gear and I'm just rolling on. It's got plenty of torque, like I said, and I'm not even using the clutch. And you can do that after you learn the bike. Uh, but while you're learning, you, you probably want to use your clutch. What makes this such a good bike uh, for a beginner bike is it's got the slipper clutch in it. So if you were sitting at a red light, and uh, just drop the clutch and I'll try and show you up oh, I'll try and show you here in a minute when we get in a parking lot uh, this thing's got a lot of a lot of that second gear 50 mile an hour I'm not even I'm not even really riding it hard it's it's a brand new bike so uh, let's get over here this thing will easily do highway speeds it's got LED lights which you can see in the back of that truck. It's got a flash to pass right here. You can see that. Your horns right here. Uh, your four ways are right here. Flip it to the right. Everything is super simple. You can hit your 
uh, buttons there at the bottom of your screen if you want to it'll tell you your mile per gallon you do have a fuel gauge this thing makes a lot of horsepower 67 horsepower but it's very controllable most of your uh, horsepower and torque are going to come at about 4,000 rpm it's not a bike you have to wring its neck to get anything out of it the power band is real low uh, which is really nice you've got a high beam indicator there it's on the dash your different uh, let's see if we can switch to you hold that down it'll go to the white display there's a bunch of different options that you can use in there KTRC I think it's got two levels of traction control we'll turn that off but look at that beautiful display. Man, this guy. I'm about to fall asleep behind this guy. We're going to pull over in the parking lot up here and I'll show you some more about it. Beautiful LEDs in the front. 400 and about 420 pounds. I'm a 30 inch inseam and my, my, both my legs, both my feet are flat on the ground. Knees just barely bent. So if you were a 28 inch inseam 27, half your foot would be on the ground both sides probably. The, uh, all the fit and finish on this is really nice. There's nothing to adjust. You could pull that plug probably, put your phone holder in there. Let's get going here before we fall asleep. And if you had to use the power of this thing to get out there, it goes. You seen that traction control light come on this thing will go I mean there is the beautiful thing about this bike is you can ride it and it's it's not going to be like an R3 or a or a Ninja 400 that's going to you're going to get bored with it the second weekend I mean you can take this bike touring you're sitting high enough on it to where it's comfortable I feel like I'm, I'm almost sitting straight up it is super comfortable the uh, wind is hitting me about right there from the windshield you could get a little bit taller windshield if you wanted I kind of like the wind because it, it kind of relates to how fast you're going I, I just like the wind but man this thing is super nimble it's just the perfect bike this has been like the number one beginner bike other than like a uh, ninja 400 because the power is so predictable i'm in six gear lugging it and it, it just starts making torque but this thing is so fun this is a super fun bike slipper clutch traction control anti-lock brakes I'm gonna get back here and show you some other uh, features of it. Let's go, let's go. Man, I tell you what, this bike is so much fun and so nimble and so light to throw around. You really need, if you got any questions about this being a beginner bike, you don't really wanna start with a 300, like a Yamaha or 300 or three. It's just too small of a bike. You'll get bored with it. But look at this power. I mean, this thing goes. I mean, third gear, I'm already at 55 mile an hour going into third. So it's got plenty of power, but it's not going to be so much power that you you get hurt. I mean, you still need to learn how to ride the bike and take it to a parking lot if this is going to be your first bike. But leave a comment uh, if you've been looking at something like this. You, and, and thinking you want a 650 this has been like the number one beginner bike besides a ninja 400 for a couple years now this bike here i believe is 8600 it's the krt edition and i know you're thinking oh man i'm gonna have to figure 8600 because i love that green but the only thing that makes it a krt edition is the uh the green paint the other 650 ninjas are, are equipped exactly the same minus the anti-lock brakes if you don't get it i think it's 300 cheaper but that thing it i mean this thing will go this is a super super fun super nimble bike 
I mean, just super fun. I can't explain it. I mean, and you can get on this if you've got a 100-mile commute each way in the morning or you wanted to go ride all day, this bike will do it right here. I mean, this bike is comfortable. There's going to be no problem. It's the Ninja that won't end you. E-N-D-J-A, Ninja. And what I mean by that is you're not going to be so bent over on it, your back's toast in an hour. I mean, it's just comfortable. It's just a good, all-purpose bike that's got plenty of power to learn on and to grow into. It's got a port here where you can put a USB charger at it. I think it's in their parts catalog. Or you could buy one off eBay or Alibaba or what, whatever. But you could add it there and wire it in. And that would charge your phone up here. But it's got... Uh, let me pull over here and I'll show you some more about it. I know I go through them quick. But basically what you need to remember is 67, 68 horsepower, 50 foot-pounds of torque. It's just super easy to get around on this bike. I mean, man, this is fun right here. The brakes are super predictable. It's not going to throw you over the bars. It's got anti-lock brakes. So if you did have a problem, it's not going to kick you off. But let me park up here and I'll show you, show you what is so cool about this bike. And it's a good looking bike. This bike here I believe is $86.99. This is a 2024 model. Let me get that kickstand down. It does have rubber mounted foot pegs. And I'll show you that. It's got rubber mounted foot pegs, so it's that's extra comfort. I mean, you'll you'll really enjoy that. Your oil filter is going to be behind here, one bolt. You can change your own oil if you didn't want to take it to the dealer. If you wanted to put uh, some, um, oh, what do they call them? Anyways, this, that stick out crash guards, crash guards. You could put those on real easy. You adjust your idle here if you wanted to raise the idle up. And that raises your idle. You can see the idle going up to 2,000. We'll lower it back down. Super simple bike. All your levers are adjustable. You got five adjustments up here. And that'll bring it back to you or extend it with these adjusters. LED front lights, high beams are LED, they're super white. Look at the front of that bike. That bike is beautiful. Let me turn that high beam on. I mean, this thing makes a ton of light. Make sure I've got you in the viewfinder. That bike's beautiful. This bike, a 2024 650 ABS KRT edition, $88.99. Now, the good thing about it, if you can live without the, the Kawasaki green color, that's even better. This is, I believe, about a $500 ad to have that color. But even the regular ones are basically KRT. They just do not have the green paint. It's got your low exhaust there, like Ducati has. Kind of that underswept exhaust. 300 millimeter rotors, both sides. I think there are two piston calipers. This thing will stop on a dime and leave you nine cents change. Your oil level, you can check your oil level, stand your bike straight up before you leave every day. Check your oil level. I mean, it's pretty, pretty basic. LEDs, front and rear, everything on here is LED. So if you left the, left the lights on, wouldn't be a big deal. But look at that rear light. I'm trying to make sure I got you in the viewfinder. That rear light's cool. It's got a 160, 60, 17, uh, I believe it's a Sport Max. Yep, Sport Max. Road Sport Z Dunlop. 120, 70, 17 on the front. These are really good tires. But look at that bike. I mean, how are you going to go wrong 
with that. 80, I think they're $83.99 without the screen. That's a beautiful bike. Hey, I appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate y'all uh, sharing my videos. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you like this video if you got something from it. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment on what you've uh, been thinking of buying. Leave me a comment on what you want me to ride. Kawasaki, Suzuki, Aprilia, Vespa, Plano Kawasaki's got them all. I appreciate y'all watching. We'll see you on the next one.